Well, Google just announced that they are going to stop supporting Google Reader as of July 1st. And so I was looking around for alternatives, and one that I came across was Sean Inman's Fever. Um, it's kind of a cool uh, RSS reader, and it's a little different than most because what it does is it looks at all your feeds and it bubbles up the most interesting stories to the top based on um, other RSS feeds that you follow. Um, you host it yourself, which makes it uh, a little bit daunting for some, but uh, the setup is actually really easy and you can have it up and running within you know, 10, 15 minutes. And so what I uh, wanted to do is I wanted to put together this quick video to show you how to get it set up um, and how to switch from Google Reader to Fever. What you'll need is a Linux-based server and the ability to upload files. Um, your standard web server should work fine. Um, and you'll need a, a free MySQL database. Uh, the username and password will come in to the installation. And then finally, you'll have to purchase Fever. It's a $30 um, a thirty dollar charge, but uh, you know you essentially buy it, and then you don't have to do much with it after that. So the installation is pretty straightforward. You begin at feedafever.com, and you actually uh, this is the this is the website for Fever. You can read through the feature list and how it works. Um, but what you'll need to do is you'll need to create an account. I've already created account, so I'm just going to simply log in. Once you log in you're given a download link and what you download is the Fever server compatibility suite. And what that is is it's a uh, it's an archive a set of files that you can um, upload to your server. So what I did, I downloaded it and I've already extracted it on my desktop. And I'm going to just install that, drop that right into my server. And once it's uploaded, I'm going to take uh, that directory and I'm going to set the I'm going to set that to be writable, and once that's writable, you can bring the URL that you installed it to. So I have it at plastomine.com slash fever forward slash boot.php. Again, the instructions are in the archive itself, um, but once you bring that up, it's going to test your server to see if your server has everything that it needs in order to run fever. Um, the database name you'll need to, to enter in there. I entered in the database, uh, I ran the compatibility, and it looks like the server is completely compatible. Now, you can click Feed It Fever, and what that will do is it's going to jump you back over to the Fever site where you can purchase uh, a, a license for Fever, and it does it based on your domain name, because again, it's, it's hosted. Um, I've already done this, so it gives me a compatibility confirmation number. Um, I actually can just come back over here and I've got an activation key, which is what you would get when you go through the purchase process. I go back to plasticmind.com forward slash fever. It's going to ask me for that activation key, and I'll enter it in there, and I'll activate fever. Now it's going to ask me for my login, and the login is, again, the account that you set up over at server or at feedafever.com. Now, it uh, gives you a little bookmarklet, which is handy because you can add that to your um, bookmark toolbar and it lets you add feeds very easily um, into your fever. But, but what I needed to do is I, I've been using Google Reader and I have quite a lot of my RSS feeds in Google Reader right now and I wanted to actually import that into fever. So if you go over to Google Reader and you log in, you can see I've got quite a lot of organization here. I've got groups, and I've got um, many, many groups, um, and I wanted to be able to move all of these things over into Fever. So what, what you need to do is you go to the gear dropdown and go under Reader Settings, and then there's an Import and Export tab. And there's, uh, you used to be able to export an OPML file. Right now, uh, Google actually makes it uh, so that you have to go through Google Takeout. It's just an additional step, um, but it's not that much different. So if you go through Google Takeout, it will come up and it will show you the service that you're exporting from. Well, I'm exporting from Reader, so that makes sense. So all I need to do is click on uh, Create Archive. Now you can see I've done this before. Uh, what it gives you, it may take a long time depending on what you're exporting but it gives you a download link and you can click to download that. It's going to ask you to authenticate again Oops. and then it, it actually downloads it for you. I've downloaded it here. 
I'm going to uh, open up the file, open up that archive, and inside there you'll see uh, several JSON files, but what we're looking for is that subscriptions.xml file. Okay, so if I go back over to my Fever tab, uh, I have the ability to choose, it says choose OPML file. So I'll click on that and I'll select the file which is on my desktop and you're going to select that subscriptions.xml file. That's actually the OPML file that it's looking for. So I'll select that. I selected to import my groups. And then what happens is it takes just a few minutes uh, and it processes all of your feeds. Now I have quite a lot of feeds so you can see it's going through out of the 18, I've got 60. So we'll give that just a minute. The feeds are processed, and now what it do does is it actually caches all the uh, favicons from the sites so that it can associate them with the articles as you're going down through and scanning, and it makes it easier to recognize which stories are coming from where. Okay, now that it's come through, uh, we can see that all of my uh, all of my groupings came in um, and I can actually navigate through those and it'll um, it'll show me what's newest in each of these groupings but the hot view is is the most interesting it takes uh, what's what's hot what's interesting um, based on uh, who's linking to it um, over the last week is the default but you can change that you can change it to uh, a month so I'll say what's hot over the last month and so you can see this article by Luke W is one of the hottest things that was that's been in my feed over the past month you can also go through and uh, set some preferences on how uh, unread counts are, are displayed they're off by default which is kind of a nice change so that you don't feel beholden to the uh, notification count um, but if you wanted to turn those on for a specific group, you can do that as well. Now I don't have to worry about Google Reader. I can actually just come to plasticmind.com forward slash fever and I can see what's hot and kind of catch up with all of my RSS feeds. And uh, so I hope it was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.